So some things just to think about is, you know, how do Kid Frost and Mellow Man Ace, you know, deal with racial difference? Do they use some of the tactics like, you know, Jin who used, you know, immersion or Eminem who used inversion or does it like, is it not really even like a thing? Is there not, does it not even matter? You know, like how do they handle um, race in this? And it may not fit. I don't think it actually fits into any of those imitative or immersion or inversion um, because, you know, they're very distinctively making it their own thing. And Kid Frost specifically, um, you know, is, is, is not making his race and, race, and race and ethnicity weird or, or abnormal or, or whatever like Eminem does. He's speaking about pride in, in it. So it's a little bit different in that. So maybe, you know, when we're talking about maybe non-white rappers, maybe we have to develop some other categories here. But um, yeah, how do they create authenticity, you know, in their, in their records, you know? Um, and again, I think it's going back to a lot of their, their cultural heritage, ethnic heritage, um, et cetera. Um, it's just different, you know, and, and they handle it different. And I think too, like, you know, um, it's not a matter of cultural appropriation. You know, I don't think that even like came, came up when their careers broke out and no one really has addressed that because it's just there's a there's not a history of that like there is a history of white people with jazz white people with rock white people with soul white people with with rap uh white people with reggae whatever you know um where it's like the difference is is like appropriation you know when you borrow without respect when you borrow to make a buck when you when you borrow um you know, and it's harmful, you're borrowing and representation, that's when we got to talk about, you know, issues of authenticity. And I don't think that's really much of an issue. Um, we could, Rich Brian, that may be, <laughs> that way we can talk about that there. But um, anyway, so I just wanted to kind of talk about racial authenticity, address it and think about it in some different ways um, within rap music and give us some ways to kind of navigate through race and identity as articulated um, in rap music. Obviously, we can extrapolate this to a whole bunch of different areas. Um, but our next module is our last module. It's our last bit in this class. We're going to move on and talk about um, hip hop production and the greatness of the late, great JD, J. Dilla, James DeWitt Yancey, um, and finish kind of talking about the involving nature of rap and hip hop music. Um, and that's it. So we got one more and then we out. See y'all later.